Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, today we are looking at our nice girls. I feel like I've been neglecting the girls recently. I feel like we've looked at creepy dude stuff through and through. Look at the aesthetic beauty of this page. Gorgeous views. Absolutely amazing. Compare it to our nice guys. Gross. Disgusting. Sad. Pathetic. I don't even want to go back to the subreddit. Nice girls for life. We're going to be diving into it. If you like creepy dudes, you like creepy girls, creepy humans of all varieties, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> My Saturday versus these basic female Saturday. They're out getting drunk. Got all dolled up just for a moment of validation. Just to sit around and take selfies in the club. Turn down the men who approach them inappropriately when they came out of the house dressed inappropriately. And be oblivious as to why. Get home plastered, wake up hungover, the cycle repeats. Meanwhile, I'm at work taking selfies while still making money and saving lives. Where's your female at this hour? <laughs> Ambition, my Saturday, my current situation. Get you a girl who never stops working and doesn't enjoy fun things. That's what you need. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Pretty decent. How about you? Good. Good. That's nice. Okay, let's cut the bullshit. I would fuck the shit out of you. That's a nice thing to say. Yeah, and? I think I'm going to have to decline. I have a girlfriend. She doesn't have to know. I can keep your secret secret. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm in a relationship. Aw, sweetie, don't pretend with me. You wasted your chance, honey. As if you ever had one anyway. All right. I declined you, though. No, I declined you. <laughs> This is great. Like it, it, he's, she's telling him that he never had a chance, and yet she was like, "Let's cut the bullshit. I want to fuck the shit out of you." That that sounds like a chance to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting her words. What the frick have I done, Jay? What do you want? Stop texting me. Matter of fact, you blocked. I have feelings for you, and you really cut me off for a black bitch? Like, really? Are you that dumb, Lamau? Like, really? You're gonna cut me off? You lucky as fuck for me even talking to you and even giving you my attention, Lamau. Fucking pathetic little boy. Fucking dumbass bitch. You're gonna be crawling back in a week. You really thought I like you, ass? No, boy, cuz... <laughs> no, boy, you was just some... No, boy, you was just some dick on demand, Lamau. Gonna cut me off a... <laughs> Jesus Christ, wow. Like, like, a nice girl plus racism. That's always a fun combo, right? All right, a post from our nice guys slipped in somehow. Stable. My self-summary. I'm a nice, stable, employed guy looking for a nice, stable, employed girl. I'm laid back. Just be cool. You're so fucking stupid, it's pathetic. You'll never be happy in your entire life knowing that this is the truth about you makes me smile. Eat shit and die, you stupid bitch. I dated this girl two years ago for a month. She sends me stuff like this all the time. You're a fucking pussy who has daddy issues, and I'm glad you're empty inside, because you don't deserve shit from anyone, especially not me. You're a useless fucking human. You have nothing to offer the world, and I'm happy you're alone. You have a small dick, two chins, and no personality. Also, your photography is trash, lol. That's nice. All right, your turn. I don't think about you at all. I sleep well at night, and I don't have the time or crayons to illustrate your self-image issues. I'm going to bed and blocking your number. Godspeed. Hey, can we talk? Sure. My boyfriend John broke up with me, and it hurts super bad. He told me he has another girlfriend and moved on. I love you and wanted to come to you because I know you would be here for me. One, I told you multiple times I didn't like you. Two, that sucks, and I hope you get better soon. Three, so I'm just a rebound? Four, we are not friends, so why would I be here for you? Sorry, but we don't really know each other that well. Wow, I'm going through a hard time and you're just going to sit here and say we aren't friends? I never asked if we could go out. Damn, fuck men. I'm sick and tired of the disrespect they give me. You said you love me. How is that not an invitation to dating? 
Thanks a lot for supporting me. And by the way, I didn't like your ugly ass anyways, so I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. You're ugly AF and you have no fucking friends and men suck. This is just not the strategy, you guys. One, don't go for people this obviously as a rebound. Like, this is, like, really blatant that she's looking for a rebound here. And uh, just don't be a dick. Like, if you just do something weird and, like, you know, you hit somebody up and you probably shouldn't have hit them up, yeah, like, that might be a little bit strange for them. But as long as you don't turn around and, like, tell them that they're hideous and that they deserve to die, like, they're probably going to forget about you and it's not going to impact them that much. But if you, like, insult them and tell them they have no fucking friends... Like, they're going to hate you forever. Bjorn, I want to ask a question. Sure, go ahead. Will you go out with me? I can't right now. I'm with someone. Okay, I'm going to try and kill myself tonight. This is one of the most manipulative things you could do to another fucking human being. Um, I can totally understand, like, suicide is a serious thing, and uh, but if you're going to come and ask somebody for help... You should probably just reach out and, and do that instead of uh, asking them out and then threatening to kill yourself when they say no. Because that is, it's just putting way too much on a single person's conscious. Uh, and you should never do that sort of thing. Never use your own suicide as a way to manipulate another human being. The more intelligent a girl is, the more principles she has. Wow. <laughs> There is just all kinds of supremacy here. One, this woman is voluptuous and curvy, and uh, this woman is straight and narrow. Nothing wrong with either body type. It's just, for some reason, this is preferable to that. You can't be intelligent if you were born with this body. It's impossible, actually. Uh, <laughs> so the woman's hair gets lighter, or her, the woman's hair gets darker and her skin gets lighter. So you want to have dark... If you want to be intelligent, you want to have dark hair and light skin. Uh, wear skinny jeans. Don't have an ass. There's <laughs> just so much stupidity here. So it looks like we've stumbled upon a female neck beard here. My self-summary. Hello, gentle sirs. I am Amy, trained well in both the way of combat and sensual desires. Sheaths katana, tips my fedora, and takes your hand. I'm not like the other girls. I'm a fire-breathing dragon trapped in a human form. I'm a nice girl, so a lot of douchebags don't want to date me. They'd rather go for Stacy, who will leave them heartbroken. Well, they leave someone as amazing as myself on the back burner with no reply, left on red. But hopefully you'll be different, my Adonis, whispers in your ear. Let's begin. Pronouns. She, zur, her, zim, pansexual. Pots are sexy too, though. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of cringe. Um, this is clearly satire. Somebody being uh, jokey about being a female neck beard. Uh, but then this whole pronouns thing at the end is super cringe. I guess they were trying to be funny by adding this in. Pots are sexy too, though. I'm pansexual. Oh my god, I've never heard that one before. Shut the fuck up and die. It might be going a little bit too far to tell this person to fuck off and die, but I just thought this was so good of like a leg beard. That's what they call female neck beards. It was a good satire thing until they did the whole fucking pronoun thing at the end. I just found that to be like very hacky and uh, basic. All right, back to some nice guy stuff. This guy on Omegle is a gentleman. Stranger, let's see some boobies. Only if you want to. I respect your decision either way. Now, this is not that bad. One, because, well, I mean, the request is there at the beginning, and that's, you know, it is what it is. But he backs off, he makes it a little less pressure. Uh, he should just uh, try a different approach next time. If I see a woman being attacked, why should I try and save her? A mugging, an assault, a kidnapping, whatever. Why should I risk getting beaten up, stabbed or shot for absolutely nothing? There are no rewards for helping women anymore. I won't get a kiss. I won't get a hug. She'll just take it for granted, as if it's my obligation. I'll get charged with harassment if I demand anything from her in return for preserving her physical and mental integrity from an attacker. High risk, zero rewards. Not only that, but other men will call me an idiot if I get badly injured in the process. This is so fucking funny. Uh, there are no rewards for helping a woman anymore. She'll just take it for granted as if it's my obligation. 
Well, uh, I, there's called uh, I don't know if it's if this exists in uh, in other places, but in America we call it the uh, Good Samaritan Law, where if you see something happening, it's your job to intervene or at least to call the police and do something about it. Um, <laughs> like this guy wants it to be a transactional thing where he comes in and saves the day. Like this dude's not saving any fucking days anyway. He's he's a pussy, obviously. Uh, helpful people just help people. You're not a helpful person. You just want something. You want a reward. You're, you're only, you would only be doing it for the reward. Fuck you, sir. I really want to know, what do you guys think? Who's cringier, the nice guys or the nice girls? I find the nice guys to be more, like, depraved, like, absolutely disgusting with the things that they say. But uh, let me know how you feel about it, and tell me your nice girl, nice guy stories. I want to hear that. Now we're in a safe place where it's just gifs of Gerard Way, and everything is happy, and we're all enjoying life. I want to read more comments, so get your creative juices flowing Create those juicy, juicy comments in the section. Because uh, you guys are funny. You make me laugh all the time, and I want to make a video about it. If you made it this far, comment kick my coin purse in the comments down below. And I will skate on your faces later, skaters.